In this short video, we are going to look at generating complex time-dependent inputs in simulant models. For simple inputs like step, you have a step block inside the sources. For uh, sine input, you have a sine wave block inside Simulink sources. What about a complex input like this? U of t equal to e to the power of 0.01t times sine 40. There is no standard block. But you can get around this problem. If you go and look in the sources, there is a clock block. And what you can do is you can attach the clock block to a user-defined function. And the clock provides the time, simulation time that is, and you define the user-defined function inside this block. And the output coming out of the user-defined function is the input that you want, the complex user-defined time-dependent input. Let's look at implementing this in a simulant model. So I have already uh, brought in the user defined function block here and the clock here. If you go to sources, you'll find that the clock is right here and the user defined function, the user defined function right here. I'll go and modify the inside here and I'll say this is e to the power of the exponent 0.001 u the input is u times sine 4t for u and let me connect it to the scope Run this. And if I look at the output, oops, okay, I want correction here. It should be times. You have to be very careful with these things. Everything has to be right. Let's run the simulation once again. In case I made another mistake here, and I need to put in a multiply sign there. And there you have a sine wave which is exponentially growing. Now um, we could uh, just for dramatic effect, let me change this to make it a hundred and let me decay it really fast. Um, let's say minus five and let's see how that looks. There, that's how it looks. I'm just having fun with this now. now there it's ticking fast and let's stop 